All right, welcome back everybody to some more highlights of my stream a week ago now of me testing a lot of the changes found in the PUP, the big April 2023 balance update that is going to be coming soon, I guess. Uh, apologies that there was a little bit of delay between part two and this being part three, but uh, being a streamer and YouTuber at the same time is, uh, it's a lot of time that you need to spend doing that stuff. But that is all good. We are here now. And uh, for those who are interested, we are going to be testing in this video the changes to Incas, Malians, Portuguese, and Sicilians. So with Incas, we do a little bit of testing of the food discount and how that changes some of the uh, the cost efficiency interactions with their units. Malians end up doing being a big one. We do some Gebetto testing, and uh, you guys will want to see that. And then we do some testing of the new organ guns for Portuguese. And then we wrap it up with some of the sergeant and donjon changes for Sicilians. So without further ado, let's get right into this. How do we want to test Incas? We can try the Eagle Warrior fight now. Okay, you still get wrecked. <laughs> it's not close. Mayans are still going to win super hard. So we can just try 15 slingers versus 15 arms. They're, they're fairly comparable. Um... Oh, you know what? Slingers are probably not benefiting from Thumbring anymore. But yeah, the Slingers slightly win. Still, not bad. Alright, any other... Oh, let's see how much a cameo costs now. It used to be uh, 60 food, 30 gold. And you obviously had no discount. Now it is um, 65 food, 30 gold, but you do have a discount. 46 food, 30 gold in Imp. Oh my god. Okay, we can just start with generic fully upgraded champs. Okay, fine. We'll just do 15 can mix versus 15 champs. Cameo should win this pretty easily. But now their costs are very comparable. Yeah, you win with a little under half left. Yep, still going to be losing. So you win versus generic champs, and you lose versus um, anything better than generic champs, basically. 17 arrows! Oh my goodness! Uh, Tigui now adds eight extra arrows instead of five. But you don't have Bracer, remember? So it's a little bit better than generic. Can they actually kill all the Cavalier before they're forced to be on Garrison? Nope. Oh, wait, but Tigui still shoots! That's true! So, you know what? It's better than nothing! I mean, by doing literally nothing, we still saved most of the villagers, whereas over here, they all died. Alright, now let's try some Gibettos. Yep, Gibettos now have five more HP. Oh! Oh, that's pretty funny. Alright, so there are three more arbs than there are gabettos. And it does not matter, man. Wow, that's pretty darn impressive. Can't really say arbs are a counter to gabettos anymore.
Honestly, guys. Wow. That was a lot better than I thought. We lost maybe 40% of our HP. Um, guys? Guys? Whoa! That's pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, almost certainly there's like one or two more Gabettos alive. So 15 Gabettos versus uh, 13 Cavalier. Okay, this extra HP is definitely making a difference. Holy cow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now the hand cannon should still wreck them. So that's our last test. And also paladins will kill them pretty easily. Yeah, Gabettos are still gonna get wrecked by hand cannons. Right, guys? Right, guys? Gabettos are still gonna get wrecked by hand cannons. Right, guys? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> they have the exact same... Or no, their costs are flipped. It's 50 food, 40 gold versus 40 food, 50 gold. Yeah, definitely get your Ethiopian and Malian stonks out. Now, this one should be pretty good for the organ guns. So that's still pretty good. Yeah, the archers won pretty decisively versus the janissaries, and the organ guns won decisively versus the crossbowmen. But they're still really bad. No, knights aren't that much cheaper. Or more expensive. But yeah, heavy cavalry is still going to do work. But they're even better versus organ guns than against janissaries. That's that's the moral of the story. Yep. That's a big difference, guys. That is, like, pre, like, live patch organ guns would have massacred those mangonels. How's that? How do you like them pomegranates? Now again, the elite organ guns should still be doing a lot better than the Janissaries versus Archers. Much, much, much better. Still, this should be pretty darn decisive in favor of the heavy cavalry. Yeah. Seven versus twelve, so yeah. I mean, the Jandys still do better. Okay, so the elite organ guns do better against onagers than castle age or onagers do against uh, mangonels. But still, the jannies are doing better than the organ guns here. But uh, next is going to be Sicilians. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to test donjons. And we'll test it first as a Yasuma tower, so the best tower tower. Okay, so let's see how they're going to do in terms of survivability now. Got so much HP on these. So the donjon's definitely surviving longer. 12 and 12. So are they... The survivability is pretty much makes up for the slight lack of damage. So that that seems fine. 
They're basically just really good towers now. And yes, the Dungeons can create defensive sergeants and halberdiers. Yep. I mean, it's just... But that's a, a part of having a donjon having a larger hitbox, right? It effectively increases its range, but it also effectively makes more units able to attack it at a melee distance. So it's a trade-off, right? It seems fair to me. Like, you basically get one of the best towers in the game for a higher price, and you can also train units. So that honestly seems perfectly fine to me. All right, sergeant testing time, because they got a buff to their HP in Feudal Age and Castle Age. Don't even know what that means. Okay, there we go. So yeah, one more minute arm than Sergeant. And it does not matter. Wow. Okay, that was a bit better. Dang. If you can force a fight with the sergeants, then you're gonna be cooking all right. Let's, yeah, let's try when, with units having their Feudal Age upgrades in. But then we'll equalize the numbers because then it's kind of more even resources. Because I was thinking like early Feudal Age there. Both will get plus one, plus one. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. But the scouts effectively get bloodlines now. I mean... In late Feudal Age, when you can say that the uh, the numbers are going to be more similar, who cares about bloodlines, man? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> so 75 HP versus 60. One less attack, but two more armor. Uh, I thought that would be a little bit better, to be honest. <sighs> yep, we're gonna try versus crossbowmen and knights and whatnot. Mm. I mean, the knights are still gonna be good. Still, sergeants are performing a bit better. They're still losing, but they are performing better. We had eight of the ten knights left over, although some of them are... Most of them are on death's door. And here we all have six knights left over. So you, you do a little bit better. No, no, those are generic swordsmen. Okay, there was like a couple shots. And that was part three of our April 2023 pup testing balance changes. And yeah, a lot of really interesting stuff here. Uh, definitely really interested about the uh, the Malians change and the new role of organ guns. Maybe sergeants will be used a bit more. And then Inca's going to be a much more viable sieve in general. Thank you all so much for watching. The next part will be the last part as we round out the rest of the civilization changes. And before I sign off, do want to give a extra special shout out to my Patreon supporter, supporters with Anonymous and Tristan in the Great Wolf tier, and then Carolyn, Donnie, Elvenor, Hryru, and Tanduri in the Dire Wolf tier. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.